played a minute and a half of injury time so far. There was the injuries to uh, Holdsworth, Jones and Ratcliffe. This is Babb. Looks for Torpy. Bates with him. Godfrey concedes the throw. James, tackled by Godfrey. Jones, Godfrey. Going for the dance of foul by Paul Jewell on Kevin Godfrey. <laughs> Went for free kick, and he's going to have a word. And that is annoys me about referees. He's not going to book Jewell for the foul, but he is going to book Reed for kicking the ball away. And it seems to me referees have got the priorities all wrong. Godfrey was away when Jewell found him, and Reed kicked the ball away, and that's what gets the booking. Evans, Bates, and it's now over to Cadets, it's 4-1, Cadets got the home goal at last, in the third minute of injury time, it's Bedford 4, Bradford City 1, Terry Evans took the free kick, Jamie Bates headed it on, and Richard Cadet finished it off. So an incredible first half here. And that's half time. A fortnight ago, Brentford conceded four goals in the second half. Today they've scored four in the first half and they go off to a standing ovation. It all looked so different in the seventh minute when Lee Duxby gave Bradford City the lead. Back came Brentford in the 27th, Gavin Oliver scored an own goal. Three minutes later, Terry Evans made it 2-1. In the 42nd, Keith Jones made it 3. In the third minute of injury time, Richard Cadet made it 4. Amazing half-time scoreline here. Thoroughly deserved for the performance in the second half of the first half. It's Brentford 4, Bradford City 1. So it's now up to Brentford to follow that. Bates. Reed. Bates. Jones. Duxbury. Looks for Bab. Benstead finds Holdsworth and City free kick. Bates cleared by Rostron, Cadet Rostron, Godfrey Bates. Looks for Gale, but uh, just too hard. And it's going to be a City throw. This equals Brentford's high score of the season. They beat Bolton 4-2 here back in September. Be nice for the Bees fans, they go one better this afternoon. Evans, Jones, another City throw. And all sorts of sequences ending with those first half goals, but the first home goal Brentford has scored this season. The first ever time Keith Jones has got double figures in a season. Terry Evans' first goal of the season with his head and Richard Cadet's first this season at home. What other ones can we uh, dream up to in the, uh, for the second half? We could, of course, be still waiting for Marcus Gale's first home goal. If Paul Buckle comes on, he hasn't scored for the club yet. That's six. So, Tomlinson with the free kick. Babb. Evans. Back to Benstead.
Cadet. Godfrey. Tinian concedes the throw. Ironically, in the mid 80s, one of those three city victories was uh, by 4 1. And that game, I'll come back to that in a minute. City free kick. That 4 1 win for City came when they were 23rd in the table, Brentford just two places above them. They started them on a record, club record one run of 10 successive wins, and that was their springboard to promotion the following season. Evans, handball by Jewell, referee not spotting it or saying it was accidental. Tackle by Godfrey. <laughs> Tinian, Ratcliffe, Duxbury, Tinian again, but uh, that's out. As City fans now back on the open end in the sunshine, but uh, not been a happy afternoon for them. Jewel got caught there by Simon Ratcliffe. Tinian with the kick. Carstairs. McCarthy. And Fowler McCarthy free kick. You hope the second half's not going to be an after the Lord Mayor's show sort of half. But the, really, the first 20 minutes of the game, apart from City's goal, nothing happened. And suddenly, Brentford was sprung into life by that Oliver own goal. Jimmy Carstairs looked quite impressive in his uh, stay at Griffin Park from Highbury. Gale, nice flick. Cadet, Holdsworth. Cadet. Free kick. Foul by Oliver. Again, it was a nasty kick there by Oliver, but the referee not having a word with him. And as I said at half-time, just booking the play of kicking the ball away. So City pulled everyone back. Jones, Rostron and Gale all over the ball. My money's on Rostron. No, Jones. Godfrey almost came through to Bates. Cleared by Duxbury. Ratcliffe. Looks for Bates. Tinian. And Tinian a, concedes the corner. It's great efforts not to. So, Rostron. Evans, Cadets! 51 minutes gone, Brentford 5, Bradford City 1, Richard Cadet. Terry Evans got the near post flick this time, and Richard Cadet is second of the game. Now, Brentford, that is Brentford's high score of the season. So, can Cadet get the hat trick? Jones. Gale. Looks for holes where it's too far though. It might come to Godfrey on the other wing. It does. So this is a good pass from Gale. Godfrey. Holdsworth. Good turn. Corner. And a substitution below us.
and Jimmy Carstairs must have taken a knock. It's Paul Buckle coming on for Jimmy Carstairs. So this is going to see Will Frost move back to left back and Paul Buckle move into the centre of midfield. Buckle and Carstairs. Carstairs talk, Buckle short, Rostron again. Bates, the Tomlinson in fact, and Bates just fouled him. And City free kick. Carstairs is limping below us. On his way to the dressing room. Brentford going to hope he's fit for the big game on Tuesday, the Leyland Daff Southern final first leg at Birmingham. As expected, Will Frost has gone to left back. Evans, Jones, Brentford at looking so confident now. And Jones and Reed having a tussle, Reed wins. Looks for bad offsides. Brentford got five once last season. They beat Blackpool 5 0 back in April. And it's also their highest ever score against Bradford City. They beat Bradford City 5-2 in Division 4 on the way to the Championship in 62-63. Rostron, Buckle, Rostron again, Evans. Benstead. Forward by Oliver. Uh, Sinnott rather, Duxbury, Brentford throw, Ratcliffe, Holdsworth, another Brentford throw, Ratcliffe, Cadet, back to Ratcliffe, Bab, four by Jewel. Look like handball there by Reed, but it's going to be a Brentford throw anyway. Godfrey, Buckle, Gale, Godfrey again, Ratcliffe, should be Tomlinson's, but he's missed it and. The referees always award fouls on that occasion. It's a harsh decision, they always award it. And City get the free kick. Tomlinson wearing a shirt similar to the one the Austrian goalkeeper wore in the World Cup. Not a good kick, but uh, Buckle intercepts Jones. Gale lets it go out. Buckle. Rostron. Foul by B uh, Bab free kick. Brentford have been threatening to do this to a team for some time. They've spent games where they've been dominating and not having scores. Sit, uh, Jones. And just too high for Terry Evans. Good kick that, it curled in beautifully, and Evans just a whisker away. Looking for his second of the game. Bates, Gale loses out to, to Reed, and offside against Torpy. Stephen Torpy not having a happy afternoon so far. Jamie Bates there certainly is. Graham Benson still yet to make a save. Godfrey, Jewel, tackled by Ratcliffe, Cadet, 
Godfrey. Brent for throw. Ratcliffe finds Bates. Godfrey. Bates. Rostron. Torpy. City throw. Robbie James, 47 Welsh caps to his name in long career. Flick on by Torpy. Evans back to Benstead. Bates. Evans. Rostron. Bates. Straight through to Tomlinson. Brentford want to keep this impetus going. They really want to get a few more goals. The 4-0 uh, defeat by Stoke hit their goal difference. They've made that up at the moment so far. But they'd like to get a few more for a bonus. Flick on there by McCarthy. Bates. Jones. Jones again. Buckle. Duxbury. McCarthy. Looks for Babb. Finds him. Flick on by Babb, but there's no one there except Benstead. Sinnott concedes the throw. Godfrey, Jones, Godfrey again. Cadet, back to Godfrey. Ratcliffe, Godfrey. Jones, City throw. Ratcliffe. Godfrey, Cadet. Nice turn by Cadet. Might go for his hat trick. Holdsworth. But Tinian tackles him. Holdsworth wins it back. It's going to be a goal kick. Brentford has scored five. Holdsworth not on the score sheet. But Richard Cadet is. This partnership, Gary Blissett uh, came off at half time last Saturday, and these two have been the forward line for all but the last 10 minutes at Cambridge ever since. We're quarter of an hour into the second half. That's the hour mark of the game. Brentford's 5-1 up. Evans. Flick on by Buckle. Evans again. James knocks it back to Tomlinson. Bates, forward by Bab, Reed, comes to Jewel, and offside. Paul Jewel, who put in that cross, played against Brentford at Wembley for Wigan in 1985 as a substitute. There he is, Paul Jewel. He cost £80,000 for Wigan two years ago. Brentford, of course, on Tuesday start their uh, next stage. We're trying to get back to Wembley with the sudden final. Robbie James. Duxbury. Ratcliffe back to Benstead. and Duxbury comes to Torpy back to Tomlinson Bates Duxbury Jones Holdsworth Back with Tomlinson again. Lee Sinnott, he scored here against Brentford once for Walsall. 3-2 Sadler's win. Bates. Jones.
and Simmons heads it out. Paul Buckle. Gale. Duxbury. Good tackle by Ratcliffe. But uh, Oliver comes away with it. Jewell. Tinian. Looking for Jewell again. That's a good ball from Tinian. Godfrey. Jewell's into the box. And good tackle by Kevin Godfrey. You see City's corner. Godfrey did well there. He stuck with Jewell the whole way. And ended up making the crucial tackle. Bates clears, comes to Tinian, back to Jewell. Flick on, Torpy, and Evans, and it's back with Benstead. Terry Evans, almost got his second goal of the season. Matt Keith Jones free kick, about 10 minutes ago. Godfrey, four by Sinnott, flick on by Reed, Evans back to Benstead. <laughs> Torpy, Bates, James, Gale. Rostron played it off Reed and wins the throw. <laughs> Buckle. Brentford throw. Buckle again. Gale. And Buckle yet again to take a throw on this wing. Cadet. Buckle. Jewell, Bates, McCarthy back in defence, doesn't get a touch and it's a City throw. James, Gale, game suddenly being dominated by throws on this touchline. Evans called for that well, but uh, it's another one. Evans again. Bates this time, knocks it back to Benstead. Ratcliffe, Godfrey, Ratcliffe, Cadet, Ratcliffe, good save by Tomlinson and Ratcliffe didn't realise, he assumed Tomlinson had held onto the ball and he ran loose, well played by Ratcliffe, played the one-two with Godfrey, carried on his run, another one-two uh, one and Tomlinson saving at the end.